The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. With the free agency signing period and the NFL draft inching closer and closer, teams are now having to take a serious look at their rosters, including the most important position on the team, quarterback. There are a lot of rumors being circulated, but in today's video, we'll be taking a look at five quarterbacks on the verge of being traded and who could be playing for new teams in 2017. Up first is Kirk Cousins and his potential trade likely to San Francisco if it's going to happen. Cousins was franchised in 2016 by the Redskins, and they once again have the opportunity until March 1st to do that again. Now, the franchise tag does add an interesting wrinkle to this equation because it's believed that if the Redskins do opt to tag Cousins, it'll be with the assumption that they're trying to trade him. However, tagging Cousins and not trading him could potentially have some disastrous effects on the long-term outlook of the team as they will have paid him nearly $58 million over two years with no long-term option set up at quarterback. So if they do decide to trade him, it will likely be to a suitor that they've already set things up with well in advance, and that, that would, of course, mean that they do have to franchise take him prior to that March 1st deadline. And uh, obviously, the rumors are right now that he is potentially going to be headed to San Francisco, where he joined Kyle Shanahan in the new coaching staff in San Francisco, which will be certainly a major rebuilding project. But no matter what happens, though, this, cert this situation could be kind of the catalyst, I guess, in some ways to pretty much every other quarterback move this whole offseason. One player who shouldn't be particularly surprising to see on this list is Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo, who obviously, you know, had a little bit of bad luck in the 2016 season when Dak Prescott, the rookie quarterback, really had kind of an explosion and uh, ended up actually being one of the best rookies in the league. And certainly the Cowboys just could not justify putting Romo back in their starting lineup. So obviously Romo, with the big contract that he does have right now, is a candidate to not necessarily even be traded, but potentially be cut. But there are a heck of a lot of rumors right now that the Dallas Cowboys are fielding offers for Romo. And, you know, obviously this would give whatever team opts to trade for Romo an advantage in terms of contract discussions. And that's kind of the advantage that the team is probably going to be, uh, you know, searching for. Obviously, Romo is looking to go to a team that is a potential contender. Some teams that have been rumored right now, Houston, we've heard about the Cardinals, we've heard about the Broncos, we've even heard about the Kansas City Chiefs. A couple other potential options here. Romo could potentially be headed if the Redskins do end up trading Cousins away, as we saw, could potentially end up in Washington. He could also possibly end up in Buffalo. There are a lot of different options here for the potential you know, landing spot of this former Pro Bowl quarterback. The rumors, of course, are not going to stop until there's either a decision made to keep Romo or cut him. But at this point, it does seem like if there is going to be a trade, it's going to have to be somewhat soon here because the Dallas Cowboys obviously are going to end up having to pay Romo if they keep him on his, on the roster. So chances are he's potentially, like I said, either going to be cut or he's going to be traded for some, you know, relatively low level trade pick or potentially a player and a pick, something like that. But don't expect to see Romo traded for a first round pick, a second round pick, anything like that. Just given the fact that whatever team does trade for him, they're going to have to also be taking on that contract, at least for the time being, until they're able to restructure something. Up next, we have Jay Cutler currently of the Chicago Bears, but maybe not for too much longer. Cutler originally signed a seven-year, $126 million contract following the 2012 season, and he has four years remaining for a total of $74.7 million, although none of that money is guaranteed. The Jets, Browns, and 49ers have all been rumored to be interested in Cutler, but the quarterback has made it clear that he wants to play for a contending team if he is moved. 
Well, he doesn't have a no trade clause, the contract situation that he's currently in essentially gives him the same level of control. Any team looking to trade for him would be very unlikely to want to take on his current deal, so that would mean that Cutler would have to renegotiate a new deal with the potential trade partner. If he refuses to negotiate with whatever trade partner the Bears have set up, the team would essentially have two choices, either cut him or pay him the $16 million he's due this season. Cutler has struggled through injuries in recent years, and honestly, his play hasn't been excellent even when he's been healthy, so the smart money is on Cutler simply being cut. But there's always the possibility that some poor team will get roped into trading a late round pick in hopes that he'll return to his glory days. The media didn't wait long to begin asking questions about Kansas City's future at quarterback following the Chiefs' close loss to the Steelers in the playoffs. Although head coach Andy Reid has said he's confident that the team can win games with Smith behind center, the question right now isn't necessarily whether the Chiefs continue to be a decent team with Smith, but rather is it's if he's good enough to actually get them to and potentially win a Super Bowl. In his 11th season, Smith has never thrown for even 25 touchdown passes in a season. He's also ever only eclipsed 3,500 yards once. He's rarely the player taking the blame when the team loses, but he's also rarely the player who you can point to as the reason that his team won a game. So it makes sense that Kansas City views their quarterback position as something to keep an eye on on draft day. If Andy Reid is in love with, let's say, a Deshaun Watson or a Mitch Trubisky and sees that player sliding down the board, don't be shocked to see Alex Smith included in a package deal to move up and select Kansas City's quote-unquote quarterback of the future. Of course, the trade would have to be made with a team that's currently in need of a veteran signal caller to stabilize their otherwise quality roster. Some potential suitors include Houston or even Arizona if Carson Palmer retires. Chances are that Smith does stay with the Chiefs, but keep an eye on this one. It might be a lot more likely than you'd think. While there are plenty of potential trades that could happen, the true bell of the ball at quarterback this offseason has to be New England's Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo has been the center of trade rumors for a few seasons now, but with Tom Brady still playing at an elite level and seemingly prepared to play for at least a few more seasons, the time might be now for the Patriots to get something in return for their young stud QB. The list of potential trade spots for Garoppolo is quite extensive due to the fact that he's viewed not only as a quarterback of the future type player, but also as one who could potentially lead a team right now. The Patriots will almost certainly be fielding plenty of offers up to and even during April's NFL draft. With so many teams that are selecting near the top of the draft needing quarterbacks, it would not be at all surprising to see Garoppolo get moved for a top 10 selection in April's draft. If Garoppolo is moved, it will only serve to further boost an already dominant New England roster, further cementing that team as a Super Bowl contender yet again this upcoming season. So what do you guys think about these trade rumors? Is there any validity to any of them? And which one would you guys like to see happen most? Let me know in the comments section below and please be sure to click that like button to help support this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't leave without subscribing. Thanks again for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.